We've all been looking forward to this little, you might have heard this filmmaker, Quentin Tarantino, and he's got this little film called now, coming out called The Hateful Eight. Yesterday, the official poster dropped, and in true fashion Hollywood, the day after the poster drops, the first official trailer for The Hateful Eight comes out. Mark, you just watched it with us. Your reaction to the trailer. That's right. If it's a snowy movie pick, we're going to talk about it on Collider. <laughs> and I saw a lot of this footage at Comic-Con, but even this trailer, I think, had some new scenes that I didn't get to see yet. I love the way this trailer was composed. I love that it felt so much like a Quentin Tarantino film. From the opening scene, when you see Samuel L. Jackson, and as soon as you see that first look from Samuel L. Jackson, you're like, I bet Quentin Tarantino is the director of this movie. Seeing Kurt Russell and Jennifer Jason Lee, who I have a feeling are going to be the two leads of the stars in this movie. And overall, it felt like a Western clue to me. Everybody's going to be in yeah. one room and something's going haywire. We got to figure it out. And who better to take us through that journey than Q? I can't wait for this movie to come out. And at the end, I love how much he's pushing the fact that this film was shot in classic Panavision using the actual lenses that were used on movies like Ben Hur. This is going to be an epic film. If you get a chance to see it in 70 millimeter, it's the right way to witness this. I'm just curious on your speed dial after J.J. Abrams, is, is, <laughs> is it Quentin Tarantino? That's what you call him Q? Yeah. I, 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 I call him Q. I think I call him queer reno one time on the show so i'll <laughs> stick with that um this trailer is spectacular mm -hmm. it's spectacular and one of the things that really excites me about it is we've talked before on the show uh, about this where it takes really exceptional performers and really exceptional filmmakers is confined uh element movies whether you're talking about something that's super confined like uh ryan reynolds in buried mm -hmm. <laughs> which is like super super confined or whether you're talking about these one room dramas and things like that when you get into those types of films you cannot rely on action to save you with the audience you cannot rely on grand spectacle visuals to save you from the audience the only thing that's going to save you with your audience is your storytelling ability and the acting you have on screen. And those take exceptional talents to do. And I got really excited watching this. Feel like It feels like a good chunk of this movie is going to happen in this one cabin. And with these actors and these players involved, that just excited me to no end. We didn't see... The, the trailer was exciting without there being a bunch of big gunfights or whatever. And yet we still had those thrills watching it. And that line, that opening thing, when Russell comes in with Jennifer Jason Lee, he goes... Anybody here committed to stopping me from doing that? She gonna hang. <laughs> she goes the thing. They it 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 just it has all the charisma of a Quentin Tarantino film. Mm -hmm. I love the trailer. I cannot wait for December. I love the idea too of the of the chamber piece. And you know, I think if you look at the last couple of movies Tarantino has made, whether it was the dinner table scene in Django, or whether it was the scene in the bar where they're all playing the game in Inglorious Bastards, he knows how to uh, create tension in small spaces. To me, you know, yes, the action and the big uh, the big stuff in those last two movies are exciting and compelling, but those. Those tense, quiet, you know, uh, confined scenes in his last two films to me are the ones that stand out. And so the idea that you could potentially have these characters, these actors in that confined space like you both were talking about is very exciting. And for me, as a... You know, I know that there, a lot of people have a soft spot for Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction, and of course, but I as a fan, believe that Tarantino is just getting better with every movie. I like each new movie better than the last, kind of starting with Jackie Brown for me. So the idea that that this one has Kurt Russell in it, <laughs> I mean, because yeah. Kurt Russell has been kind of laying low a little bit over the last handful of years and obviously is very selective about the type of things, you know, he was rumored to have been approached about Expendables and just like, nah, I'm not interested, I'm good. So the idea that, you know, he is out in full force in front of this, I think really says a lot about the material and about the fact that he was excited about this. And so I love Kurt Russell, I'm a huge fan, he is a badass. I am very excited <laughs> for this whole situation. And only a director like Quentin Tarantino can dig up Michael Masden uh, <laughs> out of wherever he hangs up. Because the last time I think I saw Michael Masden, and I'm not joking, was a little movie on sci-fi called uh, Piranathon where it was a mix between a piranha and a python. <laughs> and it's him just it, the definition of mailing it in. He's riding this boat down this, this these Florida Everglades, and you can just see on his face, he's so bored. But it's trying to it's supposed to be an action sequence, and it cuts to this horrible CG, half Python, half Piranha, in the water, chasing after his boat, and he goes, 
a creature like this, you got to keep in front of. And, like, and it's just like, <laughs> wow, wow. It has been 20 years since you cared. But Quentin Tarantino, when he's in a Tarantino film, the dude shines. He's great. And so I was actually kind of excited to see yeah, him pop And up also Jennifer Jason Lee too. Look, this movie's coming out at the right time and it's being released in 2015 in select markets so it can get Oscar consideration. Don't sleep on her getting a Best Supporting Actress nod for this movie. It yeah. looks like it's got Oscar potential written all over. Don't sleep on a lot of potential mm -hmm. nods throughout this because this looks like it could just or be... Or Piranathon for that matter. <laughs> Belated Emmy consideration. Yeah. For your consideration.